final weekend before Christmas, and if you're looking to toast the holiday, you're in luck. Shauna Parsons went to a Ranko Grill in Hillsboro to get a simple recipe for a Christmas cocktail you can make at home. We're here with Gabe Chavez from Arenco Station Grill. You are the bartender here, and you're going to teach us how to make a really fun and festive holiday cocktail. What are we making? Correct. We're going to be doing a white Christmas martini with a sugared rim. All right, let's get going. All right, this one's fairly easy. Um, just three ingredients. First, let's go ahead and uh, sugar the rims okay. on our martini glasses. We're going to take a lemon, cut it in half, and we're just going to rub the lemon on the rim of the glass. We're using a martini glass, but you could use whatever kind of glass you have at home. We're just going to dip it in the sugar, shake it off a little bit. And this is something I feels like you could use, you know, edible glitter if you want it to be a real showstopper. You Correct. could do colored sugars yeah. if you wanted for the holidays. You could holidays. do chocolate powder. You could do cinnamon Ooh. if you'd like. Oh, that's a fun so, idea. Lo lo lots of good ideas. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do two ounces of Smirnoff Peppermint Twist. Okay. So that's a peppermint vodka. A peppermint flavored vodka, correct. All right, and then we're going to do white cream de cocoa, okay. one ounce. And then our last ingredient is Mozart white chocolate. We're going to do one ounce. So this is just a, a white chocolate liqueur? Yep, correct. And this is really what gives it that white chocolate flavor? Yes, correct. I keep wanting to throw it directly into the glass, but that is not <laughs> how it works. Not yet. you got to go into the shaker. Not yet, yep. We're okay. fancy around here. All right, now okay. we're going to grab our actual shaker. We're okay. going to fill it about halfway up with ice, yep. pour the liquor in, and we're just going to shake with a smile. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. I did it. First try. This is a challenge. It's harder than it looks. We're just going to pour it in. And there oh my it is. gosh, and that's so simple. And you could really, if you had a candy cane you wanted to yep. stick on the edge, you how throw fun a would chocolate that be? in there. Yep. Oh my gosh, All okay. Kinds of good garnishes you I'm going to give there. it a little taste. Yeah, please do. Mm. Tastes like Christmas? Tastes like Christmas. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Gabe. Absolutely, thank and you. And happy holidays to you. Happy holidays. Well, it looks yummy. And you know what? Gabe says you can also elevate it. They talked about the sugar on the rim. You can use crushed candy canes. Yeah. But you probably want to use like a thick, simple syrup or maybe even marshmallow cream. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, to put around the rim. It would be so oh. fun to watch oh, someone that make one. that for me. I would just <laughs> love that. By the way, if you want the recipe, go to kptv.com. We have it there for you. We have a link so Man, you can get it. Sean is a natural. Where is she, by yeah. the way? Is that what know. she's doing right now? She's yeah, at home making the cocktail. Yeah. Uh, well, 